الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد Are there any signs for Laylatul Qadr? Meaning, are there any things that could indicate that we are experiencing or have experienced Laylatul Qadr? Um, in answering this question, the ulama have said that there are certain things that could happen to you, around you, or within you, which indicate that it is Laylatul Qadr. Key word here is indicate because we won't know for certain. But they have categorized them into three something that you could probably see, something that you could probably experience, and something that you could feel inside. And we're going to explain them one by one, inshallah. Right. We have a hadith in Sahih Muslim on authority of Abu Huraira. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was once explaining and talking to us about Laylatul Qadr. And he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Hina tara al qamar wa huwa mithl al jafana. Hina tara al qamar wa huwa mithl al jafana. Laylatul Qadr will occur when the moon appears like the edge of your plate. What does that mean, edge of your plate? Imam al-Nawi, rahimahullah, said that there are two possible explanations to this. Shaq al-Jafana meaning the edge of your plate Meaning the crescent moon Towards the end of the month The moon is, you know Becoming like a crescent The crescent moon doesn't normally illuminate in the sky It is in the middle of the month When it is full The moon is glowing In one possible explanation of this uh, hadith In Sahih Muslim That the crescent moon would be glowing And apparent in the sky Another possible explanation is that the Messenger of Allah is saying here مثل الشق الجفنة meaning it will occur at the end of the month and this is in line with other hadith which say seek it in the last 10 nights now you might think okay well this is makes sense isn't it I mean we know this all but that's not the case actually some of the ulama Ibn Abbas others from the from the ulama Abu Hanifa rahimahullah some of them have said that Laylatul Qadr can occur any time during the month. Inna anzalna fi Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadr is the night where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Quran. But in then in another ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Shahru Ramadan unzila fi Quran. Ramadan is the month that Allah revealed the Quran in. Therefore, as long as you are in the month of Ramadan, then any one of those nights can be Laylatul Qadr, according to that interpretation. What seems to be the case here in this hadith of Sahih Muslim is that, and there is no contradiction, it is a sign that the moon will be illuminated in the sky and it will occur in the last 10 nights of Ramadan. That's sign number one that you can see for yourself. And it's an indicator that this was Laylatul Qadr. Another sign, <coughs> and this has been uh, reported by Imam Ahmad in his Musnad on the authority of Ubadi bin Samit, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu wasallam said, Inna amarat Laylatul Qadr, surely from the signs of Laylatul Qadr, annaha safiyah, that the night is calm. Sakina, sajiyah, la burd fiha wa la har. The, the climate, the temperature, it's not hot and it's not cold. Wa la yihil al-kawkab, ayyunna bihi fiha hatta tusbih. And the meaning of this, I'm not going to translate exactly what he said here, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, because there's more detail to it, and I don't want to get into that detail. But the meaning of this is that the night will be calm, calm to the things that you will feel, the temperature, etc. But also calm because the shayateen will not be able to cause harm on this night. And this is in line where Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says, "Salam on here, hatta matla al fajr." The night is salam from Maghrib until Fajr. It is salam, it is peace And what that peace means is that it will be calm It will be calm for you, it will be calm in the temperature that you feel It will be calm in the environment around you, etc And like we have said before From the different categories of the different signs of Laylatul Qadr Certain things you would experience yourself Certain things will happen to you And certain things that you could probably see And this is one of them The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said an safiyah It is a calm night Calmness in yourself Calmness in the environment around you, calmness with the effects of evil and shayateen, all of it will be a nice, comfortable, and relaxing night where you are connecting with your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another sign, and this has been mentioned by Noe ibn Taymiyyah, we're going to talk about it in more detail in a second. But before we get into this, a brother had t- has told me that it was the 24th night or the 25th night, he's not sure himself, but he's a trustworthy brother, Monday night, Sunday night. 
he was walking home from Salat al-Taraweeh well he was on his way home from Salat al-Taraweeh and it was a dark street and he saw as if it was like a, a pebble made out of light fall from the sky and it bounced in front of him a couple of times and then he couldn't see it anymore about two three meters in front of him it came in his line of vision and it dropped in front of him and it bounced a couple of times and it went now this could be an illusion this could be something that he has seen this could be his you know eyes playing tricks on him it might not be nothing to be taken consideration of however it is possible that light can be seen on this night and this is a sign this is an indicator imam an nawi rahimullah says wa'lam anna laylat al-qadr tura have firm knowledge that laylat al-qadr can be witnessed wa yataqqaqaha man sha'a allah ta'ala min bani adam allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will show it to any one of his servants from bani adam wa ikhbar as-salihin biha wa ru'yatihim laha akthar min an tahsar and those people that have said that they have seen it and experienced it is far too much than we can ever mention and and and, and you know bring account of you know so many people have seen it it's basically what you say ibn taymiyyah rahimahullah said wa qad yakhshafaha allah li ba'd an-nas fi manam aw yaqda fa yara anwaraha this is exactly what that brother said that he possibly saw ibn taymiyyah rahimahullah is saying here allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can reveal this night and people can see a nur on this night now here he goes on to explain Ibn Taymiyyah it could be something that you could see or it could be something that you can experience Ibn Taymiyyah is saying here in his heart he can feel that this is Laylatul Qadr in the way that he is worshipping Allah the increase of Iman the concentration, the khushul, the tears the dua, the ability to say things that he didn't know that he could be able to say Ibn Taymiyyah rahimahullah saying here a sign that it is Laylatul Qadr possibly that you see it as a nur or possibly a feeling that you have inside of yourself of ability to worship Allah and acceptance from Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another one and the last one here that we're going to mention is being reported by Muslim in his Sahih, an authority of Bayim Ka'b, that the sun, because of the amount of nur that preceded on the night before, when the sun rises the following day, it rises as if there is no rays to the sun. Meaning if you look at the sun you'll just see the disk of the sun rising and there are no real rays that come off the sun and Imam al-Nawi rahimahullah explained that this is a narration from uh, Sahih Muslim authority of Ibn Ka'b and the meaning of this is that the sun will rise because of the fact that there was so much nur the night before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala descended in the manner that befits his majesty his decree descended the malaika descended Jibreel descended therefore the following day when the sun you know rises its light is covered by the light that you know was there still from the remnants from the night before Allahu Akbar these are some of the signs like we have said there are signs that you can experience yourself that you can witness or that you can see but there was one last thing some of the ulama have said are we supposed to look for these signs or are we not supposed to look for these signs and if you come across them then inshallah it's an indicator Ibn Hajar rahimahullah said Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has left the night of Laylatul Qadr obscure we don't know it and the reason for that is because you're not supposed to know it you're supposed to seek it in every single one of these ten therefore some of the ulama have said these signs and this makes sense as well the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was in itikaf when he's in itikaf how is he going to go out and see the sun rising how is he going to go out and witness you know uh, the rain or the wind or anything of that nature he's indoors Therefore, seeing these signs, going out to look for these signs, taking picture of these signs, etc., is not something that you will find from the time of the ulama, the salaf. They didn't go out and seek these things. However, if a person comes across them, then we know that the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, Tilka ajila, bushra mu'min. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can give a bushra and give you know, glad tidings and congratulate the believers as a count of their good deeds before they meet him, Yawm al Qiyamah, and receive the full prize.
and reward of Jannah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us of them. These are certain the things these are certain things that we have to mention when it comes to Laylatul Qadr. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He makes us of those who have stood Laylatul Qadr with Iman and Tisab and that He forgives our sins and that He accepts from us everything that we put forth and that He allows us to see many, many more Ramadans, many more Laylatul Qadrs as long as we are alive and that we have Iman and Sihha and good health and the ability to worship Him with comfort and ease. هذا والله أعلم صلى الله عليه وسلم